What's up guys, WhiteFox1225 here, and today I want to talk about the most exciting sandbox RPG to be in the works for quite some time, and that is Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. This game is actually a prequel to the great Mountain Blade Warband, which came out in 2010 and Bannerlord takes place roughly 200 years before the events of that game. Now if you've played Mountain Blade before, you'll be pretty familiar with how this game is going to work. Tailwords hasn't changed too much of the formula of what made the other Mountain Blades successful, and that's a really good thing because the games are already so unique and they give the player so much freedom to play the game how they want. What Bannerlord does is take the fundamentals of what made Mountain Blade so special and so fun and try to improve it in almost every aspect and I think they've done a pretty good job just by seeing the early gameplay and hearing some of what they've done for this game. Now in case you guys haven't played Mountain Blade before, it is an RPG series that focuses on player freedom and large scale combat and large scale battles. The story in the single player is very very bare bones because it's really not the focus. There is some story and they have said in the new one there will be more quests and stuff this time around. But still, the focus is on player freedom and manipulating the world around you through your actions. You'll start off with an allegiance to one of the 8 factions in Bannerlord, or none of them at all if that's how you want to play. From there, you're going to try to help them expand and gain more power and lands, and also gain more power yourself. And you can do that in pretty much any way you want, from straight up fighting and killing everyone you see, or some more advanced methods like negotiation, cutting off a village's food supply, kidnapping important people to another alliance. Those are just a few examples of how you can defeat a group of enemies, but it's all on the player to choose how they want to do it, and the game doesn't hold your hands and tell you how to solve a problem, it's up to you, and that's what makes it cool because figuring out a problem and solving it yourself without any hints from the game is really one of the most rewarding things I think in any RPG. You might choose to just straight up kill everyone though because the combat is a huge draw for this game. The battles are absolutely massive and they can reach up to 600 characters fighting at once, and you can even do more than that with some of the mods that are out there. Mountain Blade is really the only game I can think of that has medieval combat on that scale, and being part of a battle that's happening live right in front of you with 600 players is just such an amazing feeling and it's just so epic. With all those NPCs fighting though, they need someone to command them and tell them what to do, and that's where you as the player come in. Bannerlord has a very cool command system set up that looks pretty robust and it looks like it's improved a lot from the last Mountain Blade. This time around you can give a lot more orders and there are a lot more things you can do when controlling your soldiers. For example, you could create a shield wall with some of your men, or tell your sergeants to control different groups of people. Those are just two examples, but overall I think it's just going to be a lot easier to control your guys, and you're going to have more options when you tell them what to do. The coolest change to the gameplay in my opinion is the new siege weapon system they've added. We've gotten a glimpse at the catapult and the battering ram in the first gameplay video. I really think the siege weapons are just going to take the battles to the next level and make them just so much more exciting. Now we can all live out our fantasies of laying siege to a castle and it's just something about rocks flying and taking out castle walls and 600 dudes fighting it out. It's just so cool and it's just going to be such a rush when we actually get to play that. Last but not least, according to the devs, the AI is much smarter in this game and they've said anything the player can do the AI is capable of doing too. From the gameplay we've seen that definitely looks to be true, the AI is definitely on point, and the battles look a little bit more interactive and a little bit more fun than the last game. A few other noteworthy additions to the single player is the new weapon crafting system. You'll be able to change individual parts of the weapon like the guard, handle, or blade to create a unique weapon for yourself that looks cool and also performs differently. There's also going to be a video capturing program built into the game, and that just works perfectly with Mountain Blade because obviously when you have a sick, sick victory in battle with like 500 people killing each other, you're going to want to share it online with your friends, and I think it was a good move by the devs to include that in the game. The map itself in Bannerlord is going to be about three times the size of Warband, and on top of that, there's going to be a lot more unique places, so every time you get in battle, it doesn't look like you're fighting on the same bland battleground every time. There's going to be more unique castles, even the deserts and forests will look more unique than before. In addition to that, Tailwords has made a weather system and season patterns in the game, which is going to affect the gameplay quite a bit. Maybe you're preparing for a huge siege and a snowstorm comes in, that could halt your advance and it could also harm your troops if you're not careful. So you're going to have to plan around that, which I think is a really nice feature. In addition to all those awesome single player features, we're also going to get a multiplayer as well. For Bannerlord, there are modes with up to 400 actual players from around the world fighting at one time, and that is just insane. Imagining a castle siege with 400 actual players fighting just gets me so hyped up and I can't wait to get in game and try that. Another feature of this game is modding. Modding is a huge thing for the community of Mountain Blade, 
And Tail Wars knows this, so this time around they're trying to make the mods better supported and make modding the game just easier and more smooth than before. In terms of actually getting your hands on this game guys, it's definitely going to be on PC, but right now it's a little bit unclear if it will make its way to console. If I had to guess, I would say it eventually we'll get it for PS4 and Xbox One, just because Warband was released for consoles and it did fairly well. Sadly, we also don't have a release date yet. The game was supposed to be out a while ago and it's been in development for a pretty good amount of time. It's also looking less and less like the game is coming in 2017, given the fact that we didn't get a date at E3 this year. The devs have said that they want to make the game as good as possible and as, as polished as possible, and who can blame them? I'm perfectly okay with that, just because I'd much rather have the game you know, complete and actually reach its full potential, rather than it being rushed out for really no reason. But when we do get updates guys, I'll definitely post about it on the channel. That's pretty much it for this video though. Tell me in the comments below what RPGs you're looking forward to this year. If you want to see more content on upcoming role playing games, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you liked the video, make sure you click that like button. Thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you in the next one.